Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check out the Yi Cloud Cam and see if it has the same features as the older Yi 1080p dome camera and compare if there are any differences between the two because the Yi Cloud Cam is around $15 cheaper than the Yi dome. Well, let's find out. Yi has a tendency to release products that are on the same category of the products that they are already selling. And you wonder if it is a replacement model, but usually they make it to compete with their own existing product. The first I notice it is on their Yi home camera, which they have a 720p and also a 1080p version. Then they have the Yi home camera too, which looks the same but is way different in design and features. I don't think they released the Yi Home Camera 2 to replace the Yi Home Camera. And actually right now, they're not even selling the Yi Home Camera 2 anymore. I did a comparison video between these two cameras before and I'll link them in the description down below. Now, we have the Yi Cloud Cam, which looks almost the same as the Yi Dome Camera, except of the square bottom. When you compare the two cameras side by side, you will then notice that the Yi Cloud Cam is bigger than the Yi Dome. So, is the Yi Cloud Home Camera is a replacement for the Yi Dome Cam? I don't know and we will check later on if the Cloud Cam has some new features that the Dome Cam doesn't have. By the way, these two cameras are pan and tilt cameras with a digital zoom. So, first, let's open up the box. We have the Yi Sticker the Yi Cloud Flyer, Warranty Information, Install Guide, then we have the camera itself. In the front are the status LED light and the mic. On the sides are the speakers. At the back, we have the micro SD card slot, the reset button, micro USB power supply slot, and an Ethernet slot. And I'm assuming you can hook this camera up straight to your router for more dependable connection. At the bottom, we have the area to twist and lock the mounting base if you're planning to install the camera in a wall or ceiling. What else is inside the box? We have the power adapter, mounting screws, micro USB cable for power supply, then we have the mounting base. Now let's check out the features. It is a 1080p camera recording at 15 frames per second and uses a 1 and 2.7 2 megapixel CMOS sensor. It has a 180-degree viewing angle. It is a pan and tilt camera and has 345 degrees pan and 115 degrees tilt. It has 4 times digital zoom with lens distortion correction. It has night vision with 10 940 nanometers infrared LEDs, which is barely visible to the naked eye, so it is perfect as a baby monitor. This is a night vision test for the Yi Cloud camera. It has a motion tracking and can give you 7 days of activity alert video storage in the Yi Cloud free of charge. Now remember, the free alert is limited only for 6 seconds or 10 seconds with motion tracking. But you can install a micro SD card and then you will be able to view the whole footage including before and after the activity was detected. It gives you alert for motion detected activities but also has a baby crying alert notification. It has a panorama capture, which the camera will take a panoramic photo with just a click.
It has a two-way audio and has two modes, intercom and hands-free. Can you hear me, bud? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just testing the uh, two-way audio for the Yi Cloud Cam. Can you hear me okay? Hey bud, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm just testing the two-way audio for the Yi Cloud Cam. Can you hear me okay? Uh, it's a bit choppy. As I said earlier, it also accepts a micro SD card if you don't want to sign up for cloud storage. You can install an 8 and up to 32 gigabyte card on the camera. As to cloud storage, there are the standard option, which the camera will store for 7 days of motion detected footage and up to 5 cameras for $66 a year or $19.99 every 3 months. They also have the premium plan, which the camera will record and store footage 24 7 for 7 days and the same price as the standard, but it is per camera. For $100 a year, you can extend the storage to 15 days or $150 annually for 30 days. You have different options of storage to choose from or you can always have the micro SD card option or the 6 seconds free cloud storage for motion detected events. Now, all of the features I mentioned are also in the Yi Dome camera. What are the differences between the two if there are any? And what makes the Yi Cloud Cam $15 cheaper than the Yi Dome Cam? The first thing I noticed is the field of view. The Yi Cloud Camera has 108 degrees field of view, while the Yi Dome has a 112 degrees. It is only 4 degrees difference, but it is noticeable. I don't know if they use the same sensor, but both are 1080p. And I noticed that the Yi Cloud Cam exposure is on the darker side as compared to the dome camera. This is an audio and video test for the Yi Dome Cam. This is an audio and video test for the Yi Cloud Cam. As to night vision, the cloud camera has 10 940 nanometers LEDs and the dome only has 8. And the difference shows in the footage. The cloud camera has clearer night vision than the dome cam. This is the night vision test for the Yi dome camera. This is a night vision test for the Yi cloud camera. As to alert notifications, and this applies to all my Yi cameras, there is a delay. But it seems the delay is longer if my iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi or specifically on the same network where the cameras are connected. I don't know the reason why, but it usually notifies me around 30 to 40 second mark. But if I switch to my mobile broadband, it usually alerts me around 15 seconds. Both cameras offer motion tracking, but the cloud cam doesn't have the auto cruise and the bookmarking feature that the Yi Dome has. And I don't know the reason why he left it out on the cloud cam. Another difference between the two that you will not know until you compare them side by side is the size difference. The Yi Cloud Camera is a tad bigger than the Yi Dome. I really thought that they are at least the same size and it would have been nicer if the Cloud Cam is actually smaller. Lastly, the Yi Cloud Cam has an Ethernet port, which I'm pretty sure most of us are not going to use. That is why we chose a Wi-Fi camera in the first place. Now, I'm not sure if it can use a PoE power over Ethernet and can be connected to an NVR system, 
which I highly doubt so. Anyways, it is there and you can connect it directly to your router and also with a power supply cable, you will have two wires connected to the camera. So what do you think guys? Do you like the newer Yee Cloud camera with a smaller field of view? Exposure a tad low but has a better night vision. No auto cruise and bookmarking options and a bit taller. And also $15 cheaper than the Yee Dome camera. Well, that's it guys and thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to my channel below to get product reviews like this video, comparison videos, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.